pocket bag and the pocket together, the front. So you have the two pocket bags. You're going to open them up so that they are face to face. So you have the little loops facing each other. Now you know you have a left and a right. Your pocket facings will go here and then this pocket facing will go here. And then this pocket bag will go on this side, on the right. Okay, we on the right side, so this is your right. Okay? All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we got to sew the pocket, the, the coin pocket. Then we're going to set it to the pocket facing. All right, so we're going to take these two pieces right now to the sewing machine. We're going to leave these here on the table. Okay, so we're going to go over to the sewing machine. All right, so where these notches are right here, you see those notches? I'm going to do a little double roll, so I'm going to fold a quarter and then fold another quarter. So these notches are going to be right at the top, the top of the fold. Okay, we're going to do a edge stitch on the edge right here. That's hemming it. We're going to hem it. You don't need to back tap for this. Okay, so now what we're doing, we're gonna go to the iron and we're gonna fold these back uh, a half inch, this one back and this one back a half inch. We're gonna press that. So we're gonna go to the iron. All right, so I'm gonna fold this over a half inch and press. And then I'm going to fold the other side over again a half inch and press. All right, so after I'm done, you'll see that when I fold this or when I lay this flat, you can see the underside of this pocket hem. Do you see? And it just, it, that looks tacky. So we're going we're gonna to trim that down. Okay, so we're going to go back to the iron. We're going to leave that open, that raw. We're going to go back to the sewing machine. All right, so remember I was saying how that was sticking out. We don't want to see these raw edges here when we sew it. So we're going to just trim those down just a little bit, just like that. I'm going to trim this one just a little bit. Now when I fold it back, do you see I don't see any of the raw edges anymore? All that mess is going to go away. All right, so we're going to place the pocket, the coin pocket, on top of the pocket facing. So remember these two notches that you put right here that shows uh, the sewer where to place the patch or the uh, coin pocket? We're going to place them right where those notches are, that fold there and that fold right there for that notch. Okay, and so now we're going to stitch down. We're going to sew an edge stitch. So I'm going to back tack, and then I'm going to sew all the way down. Okay, and um, you have a choice. Uh, you can do an edge stitch and then another quarter stitch, making it double needle, or you can just leave it as an edge stitch. It's up to you. Uh, it's your design. Okay, so I'm going to do an edge stitch here. And then I'm going to back tack again at the top. All right, so that's finished. Now, normally, what we would do is we would go to the overlock machine and we would overlock this raw edge right here. And we would do that on the other pocket facing as well. Most of you don't have overlocks at home, like baby locks or any of that stuff. If you have one and you want to overlock this edge, that's great. But otherwise, for now, we're just going to leave it raw. Um, there's really nothing else we can do. We're not going to make you go out and buy a nice little overlock machine. Okay, so um, we're going to go back to the table and I'm going to show you how to set this on. 
All right, so you're gonna lay the pocket bag or the pocket facing so it's on top of the pocket bag, right on the corner so they match. Remember this notch will match, this notch will match, and that notch will match, okay? Now, you can, instead of doing uh, like a quarter top stitch or an edge stitch here, your home sewing machine most likely has a zigzag um, attachment or a zigzag for like putting in zipper or putting in buttonholes. Um, you can do a zigzag stitch. So now if you were gonna do a zigzag stitch, you would start here and just kind of zigzag all the way around while you're sewing it onto the pocket bag and that also would um, help it so it doesn't fray and look really messy, okay? So, um, or you can just do a regular quarter stitch all the way around. Like that, okay? Now the zigzag would look much nicer if you have that attachment or with your machine and most home sewing machines, that's the, that's the one thing they do have is the zigzag. Okay, if you have a really high-end machine, it's probably got all the embroidery stitches and all that fun stuff, um, that's fine too. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again on this side. So do you see I have a, I still have a left and a right. Okay, very important. All right, so I'm gonna sew that quarter. Now that will hold my, my facing. All right, so now we're gonna go to the table again and I'm gonna show you how to set these pocket bags to the front of your jean. Okay, so I have an example here of one that I've already done, a jean uh, pocket bag that I already finished. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's finished, so when you put your hand in. This side is not finished yet. This side is just one of these, okay? So I wanted to show you how we actually place this onto our jean. So you'll notice that I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna sew the pocket bag to the front right here where the pocket opening is. And my seam allowance is gonna be about 3 eighths, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is, as you can see, the pocket facing here is facing down. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over so the pocket facing is facing down. And I'm gonna lay the pocket opening here of my bag to the pocket opening of my jean. All right, I'm just gonna put a pin so it stays for a minute. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. So my jean is facing up. My pocket bag is facing down. I'm gonna line this up again and pin. So now I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew right here, okay? All right, so the seam allowance for this is gonna be 3 eighths, okay? Wait, okay. All right, so the seam allowance is going to be a 3 eighths. So we're just gonna sew that along that edge. Okay, we're gonna do that with the other pocket as well. So again, you see it's already pinned. All right, so when we're done, we're gonna to go to the iron. We're gonna press these pocket bags right side up. All right, All right so we're gonna iron. We're just gonna, just kind of pressing that around so I can turn it. 
So I'm turning the pocket bag. I want the I want to see a little bit of the blue or of the denim um, on the inside, just like that. It just kind of keeps it clean on the outside, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I turn this over, do you see I don't see any white or any pocketing showing? Okay, so we're going to do that again on this side. I'm going to fold that under. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go back. The, the next thing that we're going to do is we need to close the bag. So I want to show you, I can do this here, is I'm going to fold on this notch right there. This notch and this notch is my fold. So I'm going to fold on that notch. And you'll notice that it matches the side seam of the jean right here. But notice that here where the pocket opening is it's sticking out okay that remember in the pattern that was remember we went out a quarter inch on the pattern and the reason that we're doing that is because when we go to sew it we're going to move it so that it lines up with the edge of the pocket bag and pocket facing so do you see this little cup here, that gives you room to get your hand inside. If you don't have that and it's tight, it's going to pull when you try to put your hand inside the pocket. So we're going to just move that up just so that the whole seam right here matches this seam right here. Okay, and then we're going to just stitch that down. Okay? All right, so let's go back to the sewing machine. All right, so I'm folding it. Now, before we move this over so it matches and stitch that down, we have to sew the pocket bag here, otherwise we're gonna have a big hole in the bag. So we're gonna put the two pieces of the pocket bag together, just the bag itself, okay? And we're gonna follow those notches. We're gonna sew a half inch seam all the way around the bag, just at the bottom of the bag. So you can back tack here. And then back tack. Again, if you have an overlock or even if you have your zigzag, you can clean this edge right here with a zigzag stitch or uh, an overlock. Okay? We're going to do that with the other one as well. So again, we're going to close the bag so it's notch and notch so that's the fold and the bottom of the bag matches up and this half inch notch is telling me sew a half inch seam this way so that's what we're going to do Okay, now, let's see the front of the jean. Okay. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to do some top stitching here. Okay, you want to, you can do an edge stitch around the pocket opening or a double needle, whatever you want to do, a quarter top stitch. So I'm going to, I'm just stitching the pocket opening. I'm going to do a quarter top stitch. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. And it's actually better to do this before you close the pocket bag. 
I just close the pocket bag first. So it's much better to do this before you close the pocket bag. Okay, so as you can see, I just sewed pocket opening. Okay, so I'm going to do that with this one as well. So a quarter seam. Okay, so like I said, it could be quarter top stitch, it could be edge stitch, double needle, whatever you choose. All right, so now the pockets are done. All right, so remember when this is laid flat, remember how the, do you see how the, the pocket opening is hanging, hanging over the side seam? So that we want to match. So we're just going to pull that up and we're gonna line it up so the whole seam matches. So you have the pocket bag, front of the pocket opening, and the side seam of the jean all in a row matching. And then we're going to just stitch that down. Um, we're just going to do a quarter top stitch right now just to stitch it down. We don't want it hanging around. Okay, when we're done, um, and, and like I said, just, just make it a quarter top stitch. So that's all I did here is um, stitch that down. So now as you can see, also where the pocket opening right here has to lay on top of this notch right there, okay? So I wanna lay that on top of the notch and as you can see, that's the fold of the pocket bag. See the notch? The fold of the pocket bag. All right, so I'm going to stitch that down as well so it doesn't move around. So just a quarter, that's it. Don't have to do any, anything else, just right there. So I'm just stitching in a quarter inch. Okay, now it's going to stay, so I'm not going to have to have any problems with it moving while I'm trying to set the waistband. So you'll notice that, look at the pocket, how it's sticking up now. So I, it's easily I can get my hand in there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we'll do this one more time. Again, you're going to lay this seam so it's on top of this seam. And they're all laying right on top of each other, just stacked on top of each other, just like that. Okay, we're going to sew a quarter seam just to stitch it down. Just to hold it. Okay, and um, we're gonna do the same thing here. So that notch right there is telling me that's where it needs to fold. This edge of the pocket opening is going to match this notch right there. And then I'm going to stitch that down. Okay, so this is your front. It's finished. Okay, you have your pockets. You have your zipper in, you have the pocket bags stitched here, okay, so this is done. So the next video is going to be the back of the jeep.